Hello, my beautiful astrology soulmates, and welcome to your weekly horoscope for the week, the first week of August. How crazy is that? So the week of August 3rd, I think that this is an incredible, like we're in August. We've made it to August through a pandemic, through 2020. We have made it, you guys. I feel like this is a real success for us to take note of. And I would just be just the worst mother ever if I didn't say happy, happy birthday to my beautiful Leo daughter who is turning 13 this week on the 6th. So if you would help me tell her happy birthday and happy birthday to all of you Leos out there as well. Now, before we jump into the forecast this week, you guys, man, we got Glenn Mitchell coming to the eat and greets at the end of this week. And if you guys don't know anything about Glenn Mitchell's practice, I'm going to put a link to his stuff in the description box down below. But this man is awesome. He's very like low key, but just so much. And he's also um, the major contributor to the Midheaven magazine that's coming out. And I'll get to be a contributor to that as well. So more astrology content becoming available for you guys where we get to share astrology insights. I mean, really exciting stuff happening. And also at the end of the week, the 7th through the 9th, I'll be a part of the Astrology for Power and Purpose Summit. It is virtual. It is free. There are 17 other astrologers showing up. We're going to talk astrology. We're going to talk about how you use it. We're going to talk about astrology as self-care, as empowerment, as inspiration. Come show up if you need some different ideas. Goodness knows we've got a full moon happening in Aquarius this week. So maybe getting some unconventional or out of your box ideas would be really, really great for all of us this week. So you can get registered in the description box down below. And I hope to see you there in the eat and greets. And I just hope you have a fabulous week. I really, truly do. Okay, talking about this week, as we kick in on the third, we've got the full moon happening in the energy of Aquarius. And this is brilliant because the full moon says that, that something needs to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. We need to make a shift here. You've been working on it. It's been around. Let's bring it to some kind of culmination or adjust it so that as we move towards this disseminating phase, what you've got is valuable and you can harvest it and feed with it. You can share, right? You can actually do something with what you've been working on for about six weeks. So as this full moon comes up, you may be looking at what's not working for me. There's a whole bunch of light that comes with a full moon. So you may be bringing your attention to what's not working, what's not going well. And also, I think the other side of that is simply in Aquarian energy, where am I willing to take some unconventional or innovative behaviors or attitudes in order to allow this area of my life to be successful. You're really looking at that. But this is also moon energy. We can't forget that. So it could be digging around in that emotional life just a little bit, but just ask your questions. Where can I be brilliant? That's a beautiful question at this time. Now it is kind of Put in a hinky, a little bit of a hinky energy with Mercury and Saturn being in opposition at the time of this moon as well. So the interesting part about that Mercury-Saturn opposition is that Mercury wants to speak up, wants to make these decisions. And Saturn's on the other side saying, well, what about these? So in between these two happening and then we throw a moon, it's almost like, well, how can I change? How can I do this better? How can I have this freedom? It's kind of what it seems like. So it can drop the energy and it feels a little bit more negative, but I'm telling you, there is a way to the other side. Instead, allow it to make you realize the seriousness of the question that you're asking yourself instead of moving into a depressive zone with that opposition. Instead, it's just pulling you in two different directions to say, how are you gonna compromise this and allow yourself to create some freedom and allow freedom to be created for you as well. Now, when we we get to the fourth this is an interesting time because Mars and Jupiter are going to come into a square with one another. Now, a square typically is our indication of tension, and I believe that for sure. But I teach that the square is a beautiful 911 emergency type energy, and it is saying we got to take an action, we got to move, we got to do something about this. So it actually turns into a really nice energy. Mars is over there in Aries, Jupiter is over here retrograde in the energy of Capricorn, and as these two square each other, it's like action meets wisdom meets structure and they're going to bunk up against each other and you're going to go, if I don't do it, nobody's going to do it for me. It's a beautiful energy. There could be some luck, some optimism actually put in there as well. So take advantage of whatever that brings to your table for sure. 
Now, as we get to the seventh and we get ready to head out and end this week, we see Venus making this move and moving into the energy of Cancer. Now, Venus in the energy of Cancer is comfortable and happy. They like each other. They're like, hold me, please. So it really brings our attention to home. It brings our attention to food, to nurturing. And maybe it will even make you a little bit less social. But just actually earlier in the week on the 5th, we had Mercury move into the energy of Leo. And that's fire of the mouth, right? So I'm expressing. I want to express. I want to talk. I want to say things. I want to be me. I want to take a risk. I want to take a risk with my words, with my art, with my whatever. And then we see Venus roll in at the end of the week and you're kind of like, ah, I want to do my own thing, but I kind of want to do it quietly at home. Meanwhile, Venus is providing the benefit of this energy and it's making really attractive. It's making it magnetized. For the next four weeks, Venus is saying, be cautious, be protective, but be bold in what you're doing. Put your thing out there to nourish and to nurture other people, right? To nourish and nurture your communities, your home. Where can you nurture and nourish home? You know, so even if you're feeling a little bit less social and some of this can just like these things that are happening in the world, maybe you don't feel like going out as much, right? You do want to be social, but you'd rather do that from home. You do want to share, but you'd rather do that from home. Whatever it is, remember the crab takes his home no matter where he goes. So you can use your veneer energy to be kind to any of the other little crabs that are out in the world as well because everybody is ultimately out in the world doing the best that they can right now so extend some compassion to that extend that very big mercury and leo to say i see you thank you you're doing a good job can i get that cart for you whatever you can do to express and to really nourish and nurture others this week as well so Good full moon week, going to show you some things that are not working, but also usher in some nice conversation, thinking in a little bit of a different direction, a little bit more fiery, but also in a way that says, is this nourishing? So I love this week. I think it's going to be good. I think there's a lot of interesting things to come out of the sky as we trudge forward this week. But nonetheless, what I really want to tell you is whether it's romance, finance, work, or home, I genuinely believe that you are doing the best that you can out there as well. And I love and support you all along the way. All right, you guys like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the video next week. And of course, around the channel all week and in the eat and greets and at the summit and on Instagram and just everywhere that I see you. And God help me, I am on Twitter again now. So I will see you where I see you. And I hope I get to see you a lot. Bye everyone.